My name is Roger Lane in the, uh, with FD Feng Shui Consultant. Today is uh, thank you for watching my uh, live video. And uh, today I wanted to share with uh, you some, with something uh, uh, for uh, our experience. I go to the Feng Shui Consultant. Uh, what I'd like to share with you so maybe you can learn something uh, from here. Okay, so uh, uh, same thing. If you have any question, uh, I can... Uh, answer you uh, from here any uh, question uh, yeah I can um, uh, reply from here and uh, go ahead uh, okay so that's that's a customer uh, they call me uh, last week uh, it's in uh, Hollywood and um, it's uh, you know Hollywood have high tower building and uh, that's uh, a lot of uh, nice buildings surrounding and also uh, the house always have a nice view from the balcony so I went uh, I went there I have appointment when I get there, uh, I was uh, uh, worried about uh, about uh, no no place to park, uh, park my car. So, uh, but actually, uh, I'm kind of lucky. So, uh, there's no problem. And uh, so, I park my car. Uh, I I saw the building because uh, uh, my client's house is uh, so like a, uh, on third floor, third floor. So, uh, I always uh, before I go in to check the the house, I always uh, check the outside the uh, environment because of the outside environment uh, is related to the feng shui very important so i park my car uh it's kind of like a, a hill area it's like slab so i park my car a car over there and uh, i see around it because i saw the building the the back side is uh is lower than the front so which is the building is sitting on the front and the face is higher and the back is low so uh, my client's house, uh, the backside have uh, a view with a very nice view. They can see the downtown building, uh, beautiful, beautiful view. So uh, yeah. So, uh, but uh, but in Feng Shui wise, the whole building, the whole building is facing uh, the front. The front is higher than the back. Uh, that 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 will cost you know your uh, cost like because the front is supposed to lower. You can see it's the uh, you know, wide open. The backside is supposed to be higher because the uh, the backside support uh, meaning support. So uh, it 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 mean whole building here. People uh, can see the view, and the, but the front is kind of blocked. So kind of like uh, that will affect to the building. Uh, people live in there. The 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 future is uh, is kind of uh, you know not not that good. So okay, so that's uh, from outside point of view. Also, for high tower building, uh, because of people want to, you know, the major, the the direction. So I always do the same thing because the like this kind of uh, high tower building, uh, it's a, like apartment building, or uh, you go in and you take the elevator and go there, and the, so you you go find the the door, the front door, and then go in. So that's just one of the unit inside the house. Like this kind of house, you need to be careful of the direction because for this kind of house, if you measure the the front, the whole building, the whole building for the direction you judge the energy distribu distribution, uh, that will make mistake. Or uh, you use the direction when you get into the house and you use the front door, you will get the mistake too. Because the energy uh, for this kind of apartment, you need to uh, make sure inside the house where it is um, have most uh, sunlight exposure, because that uh, that way you know that can use your major direction. Be okay, so when I get into the house, and or I take my elevator to the uh, upstairs, uh, the third floor. So the, uh, that apartment is a uh, very nice building, uh, but uh, it's nice cozy uh, apartment, and uh, but. Overall, like I say, the front door is kind of dark. It's kind of dark. Also, it's facing a long aisle, a long aisle. So kind of like uh, uh, they're facing uh, the other door and long aisle. So like in this kind of unit, the the energy uh, affect the front door is very much. It's very strong. So uh, because of the, uh, there's the long aisle, uh, no matter the front door or inside the uh, the bedroom the door if you have a long facing long aisle that often have problems uh it's like uh, people live there uh you know uh have less patience 
uh, always uh, has strong temper. So uh, that would cause uh, something when they talk about thinking easy to get anger. So uh, uh, you, you, you can put like a doormat in front of the door to block the energy because the doormat is very, very uh, good uh, feng shui product. Uh, can, you can use the block that the, you, can, you can slow down the uh, airflow. Uh, it's like because it may be like a, a, it's a rock, so you can slow down the uh, the the uh, direction or the strength of, of for the airflow. So I asked them that put a you know a rock on it, and the, but the door mat you need to be careful that you had have to match uh, the door color because the door color and the the, the door mat color if they different if against the fire element balance, uh, that will cause some problem. So. I, I when I go in and uh, okay yeah uh, I go in I see the house because uh, the front uh, the front when I open it is still kind of dark too uh, so because of the, for our front uh, small lobby over area issue uh, always uh, make the lighter a uh, brighter you know or uh, if you have window open the window if you have a um, you have no window uh, you don't have light you should probably turn them leave light on all the time. That way, uh, you know, because the front is uh, the, when you step out the door, the front is the future. The future you need wide open. You cannot be dark. You cannot be uh, resistant. You cannot have any high uh, tower building, any high, like a uh, tree, a block our future. But when you step into the door, when you open the front door, then that's, that's how our uh, interior, uh, you know, that's uh, related to our relationship. Uh, already to our fortune because when we go out, <clears throat> how do we, uh, how do we handle those things? So if uh, the inside the lobby is too dark, which is a cause um, you know a bad relationship because uh, you're thinking and everything is uh, you know when you deal with thing uh, uh, it's not bright you know it's the dark so you will have a, a different moon so different uh, feeling. So inside the lobby, you should have wide open, uh, a little open space and the, the brighter. So uh, I advise that. So um, then also uh, the inside, they have too many clutter, the hand, the clothes and a uh, shoe box, everything, the shoe uh, all on, you know, on the floor. It's, it's organized, but they should put inside the shoe box because the shoe itself, they have a lot of smell. So when you open the door, the shoe, uh, you can smell the shoe. Maybe you don't smell, but it's uh, already there. So already there, maybe. Uh, so that will affect you uh, whatever the fortune coming in from the front door because the, it's kind of like uh, the, sm the dirty air to come into the door. Uh, original, maybe that's fresh air, but when the fresh air come in, they messed up with the shoes, the, the smell from the shoe. So it's kind of like, oh, uh, that's a kind of, uh, you know, not good energy because the, the, the good energy is supposed to have fresh air, okay? Even though those are the way affect the people's health because we say the, the front door, the front door is, is still like the mouse, but when you open the door, uh, it's just like you, you eat something inside your body. So when you eat something in your body, if you eat something that's not smell good or eat something not healthy, do you think the people were healthy? We, do you think they can handle things right? Okay, so that's that's the uh, problem. So uh, they should keep the shoes uh, always inside the uh, shoe case, uh, not too low, because if, if too high, you open the door, you still can smell it. So the shoe box is supposed to lower, and uh, uh, the the clothes uh, when you uh, going to uh, going out, you had a lot of clothes over there. Because they, it's kind of like uh, we open the door, it block some part of the, the door, so it affects the good energy go in. So the sh the cl the clothes you should probably hang somewhere else instead of in front door. Because the front door, we want money come in, we want a good energy come in, and you have something to block it, it cause problem. So uh, that uh, that part need to change. They will declutter, do a lot of declutter, clean up part. Okay, so. That's that's a very important. No matter that you have good energy, bad energy, because the 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 style you you do, 
already uh, that, there so they can tell oh, what kind of relationship you have what kind of uh, you know financial status you have so that's very important when so everything mostly 60 70 percent when they open the door I already tell I already tell you what kind of style what kind of lifestyle you have already okay so like uh, for yeah so that's that's the one thing uh need a, a decoder in the front door okay decoder from the front door and uh, when you step in they have a small lobby and they have a nice uh, uh you know a stand uh for storage but the top they uh, they use a lot of like feng shui product like uh, money frog money frog and uh, but the money we if you don't have the feng shui product like a money frog that's okay but if once you have the those money frog you need to be careful what the direction you go into a, a lot of people confuse uh, or put a money frog direction uh i not 100 percent recommend you should have a money frog but when you use those from the product you need to know something okay first the money frog if you don't spiritual itself if you don't do uh uh pray you don't put uh, you know uh, to go to temple add some energy you don't do something it's just like uh, uh, you know it's it's just like cosmetic stuff it's just like a souvenir put on the table and nothing nothing gonna work so so whatever the feng shui product you need to add energy to it you need to go to temple you need to pray you need to do something to bring the good luck to you that that will make the work okay so so feng shui product uh okay you need to do this and uh, second of all you need to know where you supposed to put it and which direction you're supposed to go uh, direct to and the the far uh, money from when i go in they put on the table uh, the table they face it inside because the mining frog is supposed to you bring the money to you and you toward inside then they they take money that go out so it's kind of like a wrong direction so they should put the money frog direct to the the front door area so they can uh, grab the money for you grab my thing and the uh, also the the money frog uh, one if you want to turn in you can turn in at the night time because they, they they grind money for you and then you turn in the night time that's then that can uh you know bring your money you know, bring your fortune so that if you want to use the money frog uh, you use on the good location location on the front door and uh, that's the best also uh after the go in go in i see i have some um uh buddha okay the buddha thank you thank you thank you for you joining me the buddha uh this is the buddha is not like guan gong it's not like a uh you know it's not like a guan gong guan gong is like a, uh what we call the chinese god have uh, one for um one for uh education type uh, one for you know uh fighting uh wise so the money guard is supposed to face it inside the house not facing outside the house because money guard is bringing you money is a keep you have money so the money guard if you 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 you're facing outside which is you you let money go out instead of bring in so so that's uh, the so the money guard have to put on the wealthy location uh where's the location uh, where where is your with the location a lot of people have a lot of mistake i will talk about this uh next time the wealthy location um uh, you always can find the wealthy location in the uh, in the corner they have two wall the two wall, you know like this and uh, when they go in uh suppose on your left side or right side corner when you open the front door on the left side and right side corner that's that's bad uh, that's the normally that's the you can use it for a wealthy location because the wealthy location uh you got to have a wealthy location because you don't have wealthy location your money won't keep which you what's that mean is mean when you make money no matter how much money you have you will you will always have chance to lose it all you will always spend it all so when you have money uh you got to have all the wealthy location nobody in the 
living room, normally, normally the location, the kitchen or normally in the bathroom, you got to have the wealth, the location, you got to have the, the, those corner. Those corner, we not, you should not put any trash can, any uh, clutter over there. You, you need to, those wealth those location, after you build, you will feel like, hmm, I can, I can save money now. I can, yeah, you will, you have an instant, you have a good feeling for those, your financial status. So the money God is supposed to put on the wealthy location, you know, facing inside the house, not outside the house. Okay. So after that, I, after the table, I go inside and uh, I see the, all the floor plan. Um, first I see the dining table, uh, the kitchen on the left side and, uh, the living room on the back side be after the dining table then i see the uh, uh, right side is like office area then another uh, uh next room to him is uh, uh, me uh the master bedroom which is, they, they only have two bedrooms they use one bedroom as office another one is, is a master bedroom it's nice a nice a nice floor plan uh and uh and uh, that's another gas bathroom uh uh, cross after you step out the master room also the uh, cross the face to face uh, to the office area which is the office when uh, office have two door so they that's another door step out the facing the bathroom okay i will talk about uh what happened um what kind of problem that I have but let's talk about why past the 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 front lobby i see the dining table you know, what's that mean? Because I talked about this dining table the last couple of uh, video already. So if, if you know uh, what that mean, it looks good for you. Okay, so when you go inside the house, first thing you see is dining table, uh, which is, uh, that good thing is uh, people like to enjoy life. If enjoy life and enjoy life too much. So also, uh, if their whole family, you know, your parents, kids, they like to enjoy life. They like to entertainment. They like to treat people good, nicely. When people, uh, when friend come in, or oh, they like to invite friend join them, and so um, every time they go out, they like to trade people, like like uh, like buy, you know, invite people. So kind of they. Uh, they are very nice people. That, that, that means that's nice people. That, but, but that's a, a, that's kind of like becoming like how you lose money, how you spend money that way. Because you enjoy life too much. Or that means you cannot control it. You cannot control it. So the cost of, you know, don't know how to save money. Because the dining table, we always supposed to either, uh, have to uh, uh, behind after the, the living room because the dining table is our enjoy place also the dining table is uh uh we are our, uh, also we can say it's wealthy location because uh, after we make money we enjoy our life we bring the food on the table you show the food on the table and show people then people know your know your financial status they know how much money you have you know they're gonna not gonna help you because the 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 financial status uh you need to you always need to hide it so the dining table always need to hide it behind the living room you know supposed to have a wall supposed to have a, a little a, a special you know private location for the dining table because that's for your 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 happiness your your financial status so you should not let people to see it so if you have uh, uh, dining table on the front and living uh, room that you should probably do some change you always can use divider to don't let people see so they can pass through the uh, dining area then see, go to the living room first okay go to the living room first. so that that way uh, that's the case uh, they should have replaced the uh, the living room to the front and because uh, that's a wide open space so they have changed to move the living room to the front and put the uh, dining table on, on the back. Also, uh, I see uh, a right uh, left wall, you know, there's a big mirror uh, 
big mirror on the uh, you're facing to the dining table. A lot of people have a misunderstanding for a mirror. You know, they should, uh, you should, you should face to the dining table because they think that, that can bring more food. Uh, when people sit on there, have more clouded, and uh, you know, that's the uh, uh, misunderstanding for and feng shui purpose uh, for house for the residential because the mirror, uh, when mirror whatever they face into. You face it to the table, it means, you know, people uh, sit on the t dining table, they don't, uh, they don't stay long. Because why does a restaurant need a mirror surrounding the, on the wall and facing to the, uh, facing to the, the table? Because they want people eat and enjoy the meal and then they go, go away. Because they don't want people to stay that long. If they take the table that long, we cause them cannot make money because they need to replace all the time. They need to, you know, people going, uh, come in and go, come in and go. That's what the mirror uh, uh, is very useful for the restaurant uh, business. It's not good for the residential, for the house, because the house dining table is people want to get together. Want to get along the family enjoy you know talking sharing the experience and sharing you know that's the place people want uh, you know get along the family get along the place so if you use a mirror facing the dining table we, first of all maybe the people won't you know not not very uh not, not too much time enjoy you know uh, you know have the dinner together so or something maybe they don't even sit on the dining table. If you use mirror facing your desk or facing your couch or facing the desk or table, whatever, nobody will sit that long. Nobody will sit there long. So the mirror is one thing. Is probably the only thing you can put is on the lobby. The art lobby, so that's why I uh, give them a device. They put a lobby because uh, when they go in, the left and right is a, a wall, a small aisle, uh, aisle. So kind of like affect the they go on the relationship. So they should put a the big mill on the wall. So which is create an open space because mirror is create an open space in feng shui. Okay, so basically that if you, you you need space, like I say, you missing some corner, you missing north, you can put a wall on the north. Uh, north wall so looks like uh, there's a space wide open so that's uh, that's uh, what you need also the mirror can double things so so if they put on uh, on the front lobby it was more reasonable and um, more uh, helpful for them to uh, you know increase their relationship so that's why I want uh, my advice to them okay so that's one thing uh, they need to uh, you know, people need to know the mirror is uh, is good thing, but uh, it's it's bad thing if you put it in the wrong place and wrong time. Okay, so the mirror, uh, so you need a mirror. You need to be careful. So they move uh, away to the mirror. Okay, so the after I go inside the dining room, I see the uh, the living room, the couch. They they just put a you know made of uh, the room. So the, the couch and the also uh, when you go in, you can see the backside of the couch. Because the couch uh, is very also uh, important uh, item in our, uh, our feng shui because when you sit down, you, you need to always see the front door. You need to see, always can see the front. You, you never ever put the the couch you know against the front door which is when front door opening they can see your back you see they when front door open they should see your face that's how we do things if you put the couch against the door which is I mean you always have trouble when you're doing things we always have something behind you try to do you know or something affect to whatever you do so so the front door, when open, the, you always see the couch and whoever always 
the you can see uh, the face of whoever sit on the couch. So when you sit on the couch, you always can see the front door. Okay, the front door. Uh, that's uh, that's the couch. Need always, you know, uh, the back sides always have wall. You so you can uh, you know count on it. That's what we need the support. So everything needs support, just like my chair. My chair, I have two handle here. And I have something to support. Okay, so that's the couch arrangement, arrangement for that. And the, okay, so the couch, and the, also the couch have a lot of mm, feng shui uh, issue, like the color wise, like how many pieces wise, uh, like uh, the the table uh, on, for the couch. Uh, why is how high that is? That's all have a lot of feng shui um, uh, issue. So I will talk about uh, in the next uh, video. So they, they they have to rearrange the couch, the front, they move the dining table to the back. Also, one thing is because uh, when I go in, they have two loading dock or a sliding door. Two two big sliding door. The the living room the area is very bright because I I went there about uh, eleven o'clock uh, almost noon. So it's a bright, very bright. That's nice because the uh, living room is supposed to be brighter. Uh, so which is uh, you have a uh, uh, you have support. You have feel no no matter you feel good uh, when you wake up in the morning. Okay, you can see the wire open the view. That's nice, but. Good thing also have bad thing because you have two sliding door. You have sliding door. You have so big. Uh, the which is, you have one maybe okay, but you have two. You have two sliding door. Which is, when you go in, you when you use both sliding door, and uh, you go in, uh, you go out uh, or one sliding door, and then you come come out uh, come in from the other sliding door. We cause the air circulation. The circulation will cause the air not stable. So when people move, go in and out, go in and out, when you open both, sliding the, the circulation go in and go out, go in and out, we cause people not stable. Fortunes, they cause people's fortunes not stable. We cause the people, the family stay in the house not stable. We cause your financial ways is not stable. So we cause the energy is not stable. Not stable, not stabilized in the house. So I, I most recommend that you close, don't use a, 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 a one sliding door. You know, use another sliding door instead. So that will make the the air coming in the most stable in there. Also, the sliding so door, the sliding door is so big. So when the energy coming from the front door, they go out easier because. The front door not supposed to be bigger than no, the, 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 the back door, the real door is not supposed to be bigger than the front door because the front door is energy coming in. Then you, you have a small water coming, you have and then go out right away. So the back door is supposed to be smaller than the front door. So you can keep the wealth, keep the wealth. So uh, that's one thing. So you should, uh, that's, they, they should close the one sliding door and use one sliding door only. Also, after the, you know, they have a nice balcony, nice view. They can see the downtown, Los, Los Angeles downtown area. And uh, they can tell people um, in, the, uh, in the house, they need to go far away to make money because uh, uh, the, the view is nice, but you have to very you know, work very hard because you have to go out far away to 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 make money. So, so that uh, it, uh, good or bad, okay, it's good or bad. So somebody enjoy it, somebody don't. So yeah, and also yeah, the 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 the, the, the hus husband told me yes, they have to go far away to make money, and and when you step out the balcony, they see the right side have a big electric pole, have a lot of wire over there. Uh, oh, only uh, yeah. Also, the, the electric pole on the right side, uh, right side have a lot of wire. The right side means a white tiger. The right side it means a woman. Means a woman uh, uh, hurting it because the electric pole is uh, kind of look very is it means fire on the right side. Always hurting the house. 
also hurt the uh, the fortune, also hurt the wealth too, because the electric pole, they hurt in the unit when they go out the uh, the balcony. So they, I, I, I give them the advice, this one, and they either use, they have tree over there already, and they should put like bagua mirror, bagua mirror to reflect the, uh, the fire to affect the house. So that's the kind of, oh, no matter, uh, you can see the electric, uh, electric pole in the front or the back, uh, as long as in your property, that will cause that prop, that corner, some kind of effect, bad uh, effect. So, so the electric pole is most likely like an accident and, uh, you know, uh, uh, the job not stable. Okay. So most of, uh, also affect the financial problem. Okay. So, so electric pole, you can see it, you need to be careful for that one. Okay, you should always try to block it to affect the house. Okay, so, uh, okay, so that's sliding door and electric pour. So when we get back to the house and we see there's no wealthy location because the wealthy location, the corner wall, they you put a big TV on it. The big TV, because uh, the wealthy location, you have big TV over there. Uh, we cause the uh, make noise and we make that area is not stable. The energy not stabilized. Uh, the airflow not sta uh, stabilized. Also easier to cause messed up because of the wire and uh, everything over there. So that they use the worthy location as the entertainment center. So we cause a lot of money spending on the entertainment. See this house when you come in. Uh, and the dining table from the wealthy location have the, the TV. So that cause people in this house like to enjoy life, enjoy life percentage more than work. So which we cost the work less than enjoy. So, so they should all reorganize that area, make the nice, uh, you know, quiet spot and put something like a money frog over there, put a money, uh, you know, guard over there. So that we, you know, little by little, uh, increase the financial and the uh, career. But uh, one thing is, uh, feng shui is not magic. Feng shui is not magic because feng shui, after you say that feng shui is not turning you like rich tomorrow, it's not magic. Okay. Because you have the last job, you have less work. Uh, you have the, the financial problem. It's not one day make you, except you gamble, ex, you know. So it's turning you little by little, little by little. Uh, people need to know that because uh, when the setup, the layout will affect you. How do you do? How do you gonna think? How do you gonna face into? How do you gonna meet people? What kind of people are gonna help? Do you have support? And the family get along with? That's all the layout. In, in that's all that's talking about feng shui you know so that's that you need to so it's a little by little that will change you okay uh, that will change you so uh, so feng shui is not magic it's not like turning up change right away but if you don't change uh that would you know uh, that will cause you a lot of problems uh like i said uh the feng shui uh, how do you know it's a good feng shui or bad feng shui? Okay, uh, that's good, a very good question. Because good feng shui, if you have bad feng shui, if maybe you miss something, you know, this week, but the next week become better. Now, okay, uh, that's that means that's your destiny. But if uh, you if you you have something you you don't have work for two years. That's for a long time, then that's feng shui problem. Because some, some problem, maybe you can solve the problem, but some problem you cannot solve, they, they all relate to feng shui. They all relate to feng shui. As long as the things take you too long, that's me, feng, your feng shui have problem. Okay. If the kids at house, you, if your kids don't listen or learn to do drugs or something, they don't listen. For a long time, that's the feng shui problem. That's the feng shui problem. Okay, if you your bad health for a long time, won't able to kill. 
don't have to, uh, you know, doctor will say, uh, uh, you know, you no matter how much medicine you take, that's feng shui problem. So those, those all relate to the feng shui layout, okay? Or where the bedroom located, where the living located. Uh, I always talk about uh, one uh, video on the front that said location, location, location. The house need to locate the, the good area inside the room, kitchen, the living room, the bedroom need to locate the right location. Okay, so everything is regarding location. Location decided your destiny, and that can affect your destiny. You know, no matter your destiny is, if you you have to keep following your destiny, that will do the same effect to your destiny. Okay, so all right, so so we talk about, and then we step it into the office, and the office uh, is nice. But it's not square. It's not square. All right. uh, yeah, I was talking about uh, another video. Say missing corner. The corner. If uh, a room missing a corner is if not square, if it's a shape, a shape missing corner, and then that shape, uh, that that will affect the 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 inside fortune as well, because you're missing some a spot. Is missing something. Maybe that uh, a coincidence. Maybe that's missing the wealthy corner. On that spot okay also you need to use the right color uh that have to match your destiny uh see what kind of element you're missing uh that will that will relate to the you know your destiny and feng shui to match each other also uh because the that uh, the, the the office have two doors like i say i always say when you get into this door they can get out from the other side okay that's another feng shui thing uh, people should consider very serious because that one bedroom they should only have one door one window because you have two door you make one in and out to make your air circulation you want a circulation and you don't want it inside the house because of the, the inside a room a single room because you have single circulation one say the the sliding door you have two sliding door to make people the air circulation will make the energy not stable if not stable how can you work inside how do you get a good thinking how do you consider the thing how do you uh, you know deal with uh, something happen so you you won't able to stabilize if uh, that's a, a a kid's bedroom you have the two door how do you make i don't think the kids will study good i don't think that they can learn it good i don't think they can deal uh, have good relationship i don't think they have health either i don't think they can sleep good either so so one room one bedroom or they should have the one door one window and also the door and window not facing each other okay so uh, they have to that way they can be the, the room is warm and the warm after they warm they feel comfortable they can do things you know very uh calm very successful okay so uh so that's one so the i i give them the why they should close one door and uh, keep one uh, one door open so and uh, i i give them the device what color they should use because i mentioned their destiny and uh, and where the table located it will help them business so something like that so that's the kind of uh feng shui layout because feng shui layout and location is the most um, almost 95 percent important than energy energy adjustment because the energy adjustment that's one more another thing uh we need to talk about uh, the energy adjustment because in in houses they do have a different area have a better energy and a bad energy so uh, we talk about the next video because um the, uh, today we'll probably have uh, don't have too much time for this one so when we step out the office we see the uh the other door we see the bathroom they want when they open it they see the bathroom right directly the bathroom so when the door and the bathroom facing each other and they will cause argument door i mean his mouse is the so cause argument also the front uh, the door facing the bathroom we we cause bad energy bad smelling so when people talk you know, we argue very fighting very hard because if it just 
just room to room, maybe cause argument. Uh, but the, when you're facing the bathroom, you talk bad. So you won't control, you won't have to control because you have bad mood and you won't think right and you talk something, you know, hurt people. So the bathroom, you know, when they face into the bedroom, you need to use the curtain to cover the ba uh, bathroom. Um, even though you, you keep close the door, it don't, doesn't work. You need your curtain, the long curtain to block the smell come out all the time. Or you, or you should keep inside dry, uh, the bathroom dry and then a smell good. Maybe a soft problem, but if you can't do it, you should use a, a curtain to block the bad smell come out the door. Okay, so also uh, the, the bathroom is also facing to the mass bedroom too. The mass bedroom would go inside uh, when they light up the bed, that's another bathroom, the mass suite, the, the bathroom, you know, direct to, uh, you know, on the side facing the, facing the uh, bed. Oh, that way affected people, wherever they sleep on top, they affected people's sleep and also affected the health because the, the, the bad smell affected the bed. We say the bed, uh, the toilet, the bathroom should not face in the, uh, should not face in the kitchen, should not face in the dining table, should not face in our bedroom, should not face in the kids table, uh, you know, should not face in the couch. So the bathroom is most uh, uh, worst part in the house. So need to be avoid always, uh, I will advise that you should always keep the bathroom door closed. Or, or you, if you can, you just could put a curtain when you go in and the curtain automatically drop. The, that will block the air flow over there. Because you don't want the bathroom air, uh, the smell to mess up your house. So that's, that's uh, uh, people you should consider for this. Okay, so so mess bedroom over there, uh, I, I gave you some advice. They should make a wet location over there and they should put a nice picture because they put a wrong picture they put like a big ocean picture in front of the bed which is make them like open a open a window in front of the bed because in front of the bed you should have not you should not have a, a window you should not have a door you should not, uh, you know because those two if you you have a, a door opening in right in front of you uh will cause you so sick and the front window the same thing you know always thing uh also the behind the, the behind the bed, you should not have a window either. That would make you a really bad dream. Okay, so uh, that's kind of uh, um, my ex uh, my case uh, last week. The customer, so I give uh, hope. Uh, you know, I give them uh, a lot of advice. So, yeah, uh, that that definitely that will help them. You know, change the things because they are okay because they have like a work. Uh, they have uh, had no work for. Uh, for maybe a, a year already, so hope, yeah, I think that that would definitely help them. Okay, so um, yes, this is the video I share my experience to you and hope they help you. Okay, all right, uh, I maybe some, uh, see you sometime tomorrow, uh, same time. Uh, I hope everybody uh, during this virus, uh, you know, coronavirus period, uh, everybody stay home, every ever stay home and have a safe, uh, you know, family. So I see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.